All right, I don't usually sit down to record videos while I'm in the middle of an acne breakout, but I'm making a special exception today. Okay, so Lawson Smith is a senior at the school where I'm a junior. She's, you know, only about my age and she is a fantastic journalist. She's written for the, uh, for the school paper for quite some time. I have a copy of that. She's a very talented uh, journalist and writer and interviewer, and she works with Access WDUN, which is uh, local and like a, a real news outlet, not like a school paper. So this is, this is pretty big for me that she reached out and asked if I wanted to do an interview talking about what I do. So obviously I said yes, and I can't think of anybody better to report on what I've been up to and where I came from than Lawson Smith. She did a really, really fantastic job with the uh, with the radio interview. I got to hear the story on the radio, but I haven't actually read the article yet, and uh, that's what I'm going to do with you guys. Holy sh**. I'm like front page. That's that's kind of dope. Meet Sam Morgan, a local student filmmaker. A local high school student filmmaker recently took home seven awards in one night at the Atlanta High School Film Festival. That's true. I did do that. Sam Morgan, a junior at North Hall High School and owner of the Pictures Up Productions YouTube channel. That's us. Entered his short films One Night in Squash Town and Is This For Real and took home awards in major categories. This is so cool. I, I love it already. Let's see. One Night in Squash Town is a comedy that follows a group of friends who go camping for a night where everything seems to go wrong, but ultimately brings the group closer together. I like that. That's a good way of putting it. Morgan, who also acts in the film, said the road to creating the short film started long before it was filmed in 2022. The very first idea that ended up making its way into the final film was an idea that I had all the way back in freshman year. But as time went on and my life changed, the themes and tone of the script started to change, and ultimately what it turned out being is a story about growing up, and it's a story about that sort of universal fear and anxiety towards leaving high school, and it's about the fear of losing friendships. Morgan also emphasized what a... Ah, Morgan also emphasized what about the film he was most proud of. The film has a lot of very comical elements, like almost slapstick to it, but what I'm most proud of is the heart that we were able to incorporate into it. And what I'm most proud about in that project, and really in any project, is any time that I'm able to effectively convey real emotion and people are able to relate to that. That is absolutely true. That is what I'm most proud of. While the project is one of his most recent, Morgan noted that filmmaking has been a lifelong hobby since he began experimenting with stop motion filmmaking as early as second grade. Yeah, this is this is a funny story. So I had a friend in second grade who was like, hey, have you ever done this stop motion thing? And he had like some little um, Legos. And I want to say he had like the, the Halo uh, minifigures from like, oh, what's that like knockoff Lego company that made all the Halo minifigures? Mega Blocks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He had these for sure. Th that's like the origin of my filmmaking actually is, is like Halo character Mega Blocks. I would bring those little minifigures with me and I would bring my, my iPod Touch. I filmed this whole fight sequence in my mom's office where we filmed Squatch Town actually, uh, the, the doctor's office. In her office in there one day, she was like seeing some more patients. I was sitting in her office just like playing around and I like shot a whole fight scene in there. Um, so that's, that's my origins, which means I've been Oh, I'm coming up on a decade of doing this. Wow. I'm older than I used to be. I didn't used to be a decade old, even. It really started just as a childhood hobby with me playing with my action figures and evolved from there, telling more and more advanced stories, using more and more advanced techniques, more and more advanced equipment, he said. Pictures Up Productions also has other high schoolers that star in and help behind the scenes, most of them being close friends of Morgan's. Uh, all of them, they're, they're my besties. Well, that is very cool. I'm very proud of this. Again, everybody go check out the rest of Lawson's work. If you happen to be coming here from the article or something like that, or coming here from anywhere, check out our YouTube channel. We are uh, allegedly kind of okay at this, according to this article. So that's good. So one thing that was in the radio version but isn't in the text version that I would like to emphasize is what advice I have for uh, for younger filmmakers. I forget exactly what I said, but it's something along the lines of like, just go out there and do it, even if you're bad at it. Don't be afraid to be bad at it. Just go out there, make some movies, be bad at it for a little while if that's what you need to do to be good at it eventually. I think that was like, uh, one of my favorite things that they ended up including. I really do think that's good advice. I think um, the best thing you could do to learn how to make movies is to just go out and make movies. Even if you do a really poor job of it at first, the experience is your best classroom. It's the best learning experience you could possibly get. All right, yeah, that's uh, about all that I have to say. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Until then, I'm Sam Morgan, and this is Pictures Up. To watch One Night in Squash Town or some of Morgan's other works, visit Access WDUN. For WDUN's newsroom, I'm Lawson Smith. Thank you, Lawson. Former President Donald Trump is appearing before a New York <laughs> attorney.